सो हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम के एथ लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इन बी एस टी सो द प्रॉब्लम इज गिवन अ बाइंडरी सर्च ट्री योर टास्क इज टू कम्प्लीट द फंक्शन विच विल रिटर्न द के एथ लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट विदाउट डूइंग एनी मॉडिफिकेशन इन बाइंडरी सर्च ट्री सो वी नीड टू गेट द के एथ लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इन द बाइंडरी सर्च ट्री सो हे अर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द बाइंडरी सर्च ट्री द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी नथिंग बट फोर सो वी विल नीड टू गिव द आउटपुट एज फोर ओके वन थिंग वेन यू आर डूइंग अ प्रॉब्लम इन बी एस टी यू नो वन थिंग लाइक द इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल फॉर अ बाइंडरी सर्च ट्री इज सॉर्टेड सो वी कैन मेक द यूज ऑफ डैट एंड सॉल्व आर प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम इन मोर डिटेल सो लेट से माई रूट नोड इज गोइंग टू बी फोर लेट चाइल्ड इज टू एंड नाइन सो यू नो फॉर बाइंडरी सर्च ट्री द इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल इज सॉर्टेड सो इफ वी डू इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल इट इज गोइंग टू बी टू फोर नाइन एंड लेट से माई के इज ऑल्सो टू so i can pick this element okay whatever be the second element from back we can pick that up and that is going to be my answer but the problem with this approach is that it is taking a order of n space why because we need to store these elements at one place okay so that will take me order of n time but can we optimize it yes i think we don't need this elements okay so let's discuss the optimization so you know for the in order traversal it is sorted so we can pick this up basically we can say the reverse in order will be sorted in a decreasing fashion so let's say my reverse in order is like this i can pick the second or kth element from the front and that is going to be my answer again so what we can do we can do i in order traversal but this time it will be a reverse in order traversal okay and in that we call on the right node first okay so let's say this is my binary tree or binary search tree and my k is 2 okay initially what we can do we can pass the count as 1 now when we are here my count is 1 we check if it has a right child yes it has we go to 9 we check if it has a right child no it has not a right child we increment the count so count is going to be 2 here okay now 9 has no left child we don't do anything we come to 9 okay now when we go back we are at the root node okay the right the work for the right node is done my count is incremented to 2 and we can go on to left child okay and for now my answer is going to be 9 itself okay so every time you get a count is equal to k we update our answer okay so let's say initially my answer is going to be minus 1 when we are at here my count is 2 we update our answer as 9 we go back my count is 2 again we go to 4 we update our answer to 4 now when we go back since 2 has no right child we don't do anything we come to 2 we increment the count to 3 okay since 2 has no left child my count remains the same okay and when we come back to 4 my answer is going to be 4 and count will be equal to 3 at the end so i can return this answer right let's understand this approach on some other test case so let's say my root node is 4 left child is 2 let's say this is 9 and this is 10 okay initially what we can do we can assume our answer to be minus 1 we can call the in order function with the count as 1 here तो जब हम लोग राइट right में जाएंगे ठीक है यहाँ पे तो हम लोग नाइन का देखेंगे कि राइट चाइल्ड एग्जिस्ट करता है यस इट एग्जिस्ट वी गो ऑन टू टेन वी गो टू द राइट देर इज नो राइट चाइल्ड वी इंक्रीमेंट द काउंट व्हेन वी कम टू नोड बेसिकली द रूट नोड वी इंक्रीमेंट द काउंट ओके एंड लेट्स से माई के इज थ्री है ओके सो द इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल फॉर दिस इज टू फोर नाइन एंड टेन राइट and when k is 3 4 is going to be my answer so count is 2 for now we go on to left there is nothing we return when we come to 9 9 is the root node okay 
so we increment the count to 3 cool now 9 has no left child we come back we go on to 4 my count is 3 for now when our count is 3 we can update our answer so answer will now be updated to first it will be updated to 9 here and when we come to 4 my answer will be updated to 4 we go on to left since 2 has no right child we come back count is now 4 we come to the left child there is no left child we come to the root count is 4 don't need to update the answer we come back and we return from here so finally here my answer is going to be the 4 and 4 is my answer so in this way what we have done we have optimized appro our approach maximum we are taking a order of h recursive stack space only and we don't need to store our nodes so in this way we can solve our problem so let's discuss the implementation so first of all what i have done i have taken an answer as minus one and count will be one okay we can call our reverse in order function basically it will be taking a root k will be passed as it is answer and count and count will be passed as a reference as well as my answer will be passed as a reference okay but because it will be updated each and every time so if my root is equal to null we simply return we call on the right sub part first okay so root arrow right k answer and count if my count is equal to k we update our answer to roots data and we increment the count okay whenever we are at the root we increment the count as i told you and Finally, we can call on the left sub part. Okay, so in this way we can solve our problem. The time complexity for this is going to be nothing but order of n because ultimately we are using an in order traversal and the space complexity is going to be order of h. So I hope you have understood the problem. If you have any doubt, write it down in the comments. I will be happy to solve it. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. Like this video if you have understood and do share among your friends and subscribe to our channel. Okay. Thanks for watching guys.